Hey guys, welcome to the new series. In this series, we're going to focus on VMware's vSphere 6.5 training, or a lot of people just by refers to it as like ICM, which is Install, Configure, and Manage. Uh, this will be a hands-on series in the first part. So we will be focusing on the exam topics or the content that the vCP 6.5 expects you to be trained on before you can go ahead and write your vCP 6.5 exam or just if you're working, getting some hands-on experience with uh, VMware's uh, different products like ESXi, vCenter, and some of the technologies that we will be working. So this series is very specific to the 6.5 because that seems to be the latest third out from the VMware and uh, this is one of the very popular certification out there. So in this series, we will be uh, going over a lot of topics. So I went and downloaded uh, this exam preparation guide from VMware's website, which talks about the VMware Certified Professional 6.5 Data Center Virtualization Exam. And the exam code is 2v0-6. So uh, there are good content. So let me just quickly walk you through that the contents that we will be working through uh, in this series. So if you take a look, it clearly says the hey, the purpose for exam is a VMware Data Center 6.5. 2e0622 test candidates on their skills and abilities to con install, configure, and manage vCenter server, ESXi host, and virtual machine using the appropriate VMware tools. So the 2v0622 is all about the install, configure, and manage vCenter server, ESXi host, and working with the virtual machine. And I'm not going to read all of the stuff. I would highly encourage that you go ahead and download this exam guide. But these are the topics that we will be covering uh, in this series. We will go ahead and learn how do you really configure and administrator uh, vSphere's security features. We will also take a look how do you really configure ESXi server and vCenter server. We are also going to work in configure SSO and identity source uh, in this hands-on series. We will take a look how do you really secure your vSphere virtual machines and one of the very important concept of uh, nowadays is like how do you really encrypt your virtual machine. We will also go ahead and take a look how do you really configure and administer your vSphere networking. So we will go ahead and take a look at the standard vSwitch. We will like, take a look at the distributed vSwitches. At the same time we'll go ahead and also configure the network IO control. So with this version you will see some more enhancement to the network IO control. We'll also go ahead and take a look and work with configuring and administering your vSphere 6 x storage. So in this we will go ahead and take a look how do you really configure NFS v3, how do you mount those NFS v3 or v41 uh, to the ESXi or to the vCenter. We'll also go ahead and take a look how do you really configure your iSCSI, NFS and uh, some of the other things. We'll also go ahead and talk about configuring software uh, defined storage. At the same time we'll go ahead and configure vSphere storage multipathing and failover. We'll also go ahead and take a look at uh, performing VMFS and F NFS configuration and some of the upgrades supported in the same way. We'll also go ahead and take a look how do you really configure and set up the storage IO controls. At the same time we'll go ahead and upgrade a vSphere environment to 6.x. Let's say you have an old environment running some 5.5 or 5.x. How do you really upgrade them? We will be making use of the images. We'll go ahead and talk about the VMware update manager and few other concepts. At the same time uh, it says perform vCenter server upgrade, perform vCenter server migration to vCSA, uh, which is your appliance. We'll go ahead and take a look how do you really configure the resources uh, in relation to the vSphere 6 x We'll also take a look and configure the DRS and the storage DRS cluster. We'll learn at the same time how do we really backup and recover a vSphere deployment, working with the vSphere data protection, configuring some of the vSphere replication, and some of the troubleshooting as we progress into the series. We'll take a look how do you troubleshoot common issue with the vCenter and the ESXi host. So there is a quite a bit of content that we plan to cover in this series. So stay tuned with me. I'm not going to bore you with the PowerPoint presentation or anything. Uh, the first part of this series really focuses all about the hands-on. So we'll go ahead and do all the hands-on lab once we are done with our hands-on lab. Probably I'll introduce you some of those PowerPoint uh, things, you know, where we'll go ahead and talk about some of the concept because that's really needed if you're interviewing or any other things you need to know the concepts also very well in details. But again, uh, just to go through all these topics, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and download the official exam guide from VMware website, which is for this version 6.5. And again, in this series, we will be working on the hands-on training, which focuses around VMware's vSphere 6.5. Thank you so much. I will see you in the first episode of this series.